It's been cold, y'all. Woo! I ain't made no videos. I haven't seen y'all in a while. Hey, y'all. Let's see what's going on out here. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Steph Growing in Zone 6B. If you are here for the first time, welcome for the first time. Man, y'all, my yard is still a mess. It has been so cold out here. I have not been in this greenhouse to check and see what's going on. I got some carrots out here. I probably need to pick. It's wet. It's rainy. It's cold. It's all of that. But uh, we out here today. I don't even think I've been out here since um, my sister came by and asked me for some fresh sage. And I came out here and picked some of that for her. I haven't been out here since then. But I did see a possum on the camera, ironically. And I came out here. No, I came out here periodically. Well, I come out here periodically to um, turn this compost pile. But as far as like actually checking in this garden, in this greenhouse to see what's going on, I have not done that. So y'all come on with me. Let's check and see what it is. Um, might as well take this little break the break from work. And see what's going on in the greenhouse. All right, y'all. Let's go. Oh, shucks. Here we go, y'all. Here we go, y'all. Y'all gonna make me start some more seeds. Now, see, don't play with me. This this is looking good. This is some, um, my, uh, red Russian kale is looking good. This is some spinach. It's looking good, y'all. Right here, this spinach is looking good. These leaves are... I think they starting to thicken up some. Uh, this still look a little leggy, but that's all right. It look nice, girl. Man. Listen, it looks really, really good. Um, This soil, of course, this is going to grow slow. And this soil is um, still damp from the last time. I might throw in some fish emulsion. I don't, I'm not sure. Um, in the second container... This container has grown quite a bit. Now, just to remind y'all, I started these leaves in, um, I mean, these greens, when did I start them? October. And I put them in here in, like, November. So, I started them in the house in October. I put them in here in November. I will say, um, you know, I still think... These stems could be a little thicker, see? But I do like the growth on these. I might have something to harvest soon. Even this one looks really good. Um, actually, the stem on that one looks good. Um, these collards are really beefing up. These are looking good. All of these, all of these. It looked like something chewed on this one, which would be really ironic in here i don't know what would have gotten in here but even this stem is starting to thicken up so they are i wasn't sure i told y'all in the beginning if i could grow in the greenhouse but that's looking actually looking perfect so i'm super excited um i'm gonna watch the weather on on one of these warmer days i'm gonna give them some more fish emotion um Here's my uh, citrus uh, tree. This is the Meyer lemon. Despite that 20 degree cold snap that we had for a couple days, I think it's still doing okay. Um, it's a little dry, so I'm probably going to give it some water. Um, over here, I have another bed of greens. I think these are looking kind of leggy, if you ask me. This soil is not dry, though, but it's drier than the other. So, I'll probably go ahead and give these some fertilizer this week, too. But they are heading up nicely. Um, I mean, they are bunching up nicely, if you can see. The centers are growing nice. Like I said, if I take off these true leaves, now, I mean, these uh, starter leaves at the bottom, you'll see these stems are still looking kind of thin. So, I'll probably end up putting these in the garden um towards the spring probably in march if they haven't done any better but i do want to give them some fertilizer 
I things are gonna grow slow because it's cold outside but it's nice to know that they are um growing well now I don't know about these pepper plants y'all this is looking a little like it's not gonna survive um we'll see what happens the stems still look hard they still i mean they still feel firm these need some water for sure i'm gonna give them a little water just a little bit and maybe they will make it um these stems look okay and this is a hardy orange tree and in fact it's oranges on this that I didn't pick out. Now, I don't know what it'll do, but this is looking kind of, I mean, the soil is in here. It's feeling kind of hard, too. So, I'm going to give these a quick drink of water. I don't know if these peppers will overwinter, but the stems do not feel mushy. So, I'm going to leave them. Now, let me grab my water and can and come outside, and I'll show you all what I put out here that I thought for sure was going to be dead. <sighs> Close this greenhouse door. So I got a couple of little pots right here of some uh, red Russian kale. No, this is red mustard here. I think that's red Russian kale in there. And this is red mustard. Um, and a few little spinaches here. Some spinach there that's trying to do something. Trying to do something. Who knows what that'll do. Um, and... You know, the last thing, let's check on the carrots. Now, if y'all watch my other video with the mulch, y'all know I've been putting mulch everywhere. Because who the heck knows where I'm going to put this mulch. But as I walk on this mulch, because it's been raining and snowing, it did thin down some, which is something that I was kind of concerned about. Um, and to me, that's a good thing because I can actually dump some more mulch in these pathways and um have room for it now i planted these back in the summer these um carrots some of these carrots let me see they so small y'all look at these tiny carrots they so tiny but that's okay i'll eat them these are a small variety anyway i wasn't I'm expecting them to be this tiny but still edible for a nice snack but i think all of these i didn't think also you know i should have thinned these carrots and i didn't but this tiny variety that's kind of what it looks like i guess see real real small it's supposed to be small didn't know it was supposed to be this small but that's all right we're gonna work with it we're gonna eat them anyway ain't that right y'all and like some of these, they sticking out the soil. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pull them out. I'm getting ready to start some perennial herbs on a different video. And uh, when I do that, I will bring you guys along for that. So get a couple of these tiny little carrots. They small. That's okay. I'm going to still eat them. And um, I don't know why the, this green pea plant is still trying to hold on. Y'all see it right through the fence? It didn't die back with the frost, so I'm going to leave it. Shoot, you never know. And that's it. So, the garden is pretty much a done deal for right now. Um, but I am going... I think I am, since those are doing so well... I think I am going to plant some more garlic since the ground is not completely frozen. Since the ground is not completely frozen, I think I am going to plant some more garlic. Um, I just don't feel like I planted it enough. And I'm going to start some perennial herbs. And I might be a little adventurous and start some cabbage. Since my greenhouse is doing such a great job with keeping um what i started alive that will give me a jump start on my growing season i'll be able to think get things out sooner i still have a huge 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 
wood chip pile that I have to get through. I have to clear my driveway. So I'll be working on that some today. And, um, you know, just really getting things prepared. So y'all stay with me. You know, if you haven't done your fall prepping, fall planning, go ahead and get that done. And uh, I will see you guys on the next video. Y'all take care and uh, bye for now.